Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm a little burnt out, honestly, so I'm going to take an easier day today. I'm just going to tell you a few updates. Uh, I had a crazy week, didn't sleep enough, and I worked too hard on my regular job and on this hobby job. It's, it's a hobby, of course, but... And I've decided a long time ago that if this ever felt like a job, I wasn't going to... Uh, if I felt like I had to get an Attic Fine Friday out, I had to stop myself and say, no, I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to feel like work. So when I was feeling that way this morning, like, oh, it's Friday, I've got to get an Attic Fine Friday out. I said, no, no, I don't. But I, f I find that it's very important that I share this news with you. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you missed that we discovered a new T206 card that was never known before. And... Uh, it's really exciting. I had the, it's a funny story, actually. I want you to go read the story on my newsletter at junkwaxhero.com. I'm not going to share the whole story here. It is kind of today's Attic Fine Friday, sorry. Uh, it's free. Go read it for free. Um, a subscriber named Mike emailed me a couple of weeks ago, and he basically told me that he had discovered a new T206. He wanted to get the story out, but he wanted, wanted to come through me and stay anonymous. And I, t I tend to rush through my emails, and I, I responded to him, hey, that's cool, I'll get to this another time. And then when I was looking for a newsletter topic yesterday, I read it again, and I was like, this is big news. This, this could be huge. And the more I researched it, the more I thought, yeah, he has discovered a new T206. And by the way, if you look at my hat and think, hey, your hat is off-center, or lopsided. It's not. My head is actually crooked. I, I'm, it's uh, different. I don't know how to describe it. Like my one of my ears is lower. We, I'm weird. I know. So uh, Mike, my subscriber and reader of the newsletter, answered some questions really quickly. I did a ton of research on it last night. I reached out to a bunch of T206 experts, and most of them said, I don't have that kind of expertise, which I appreciate. Like, I reached out to CRT Sports Cards, who knows a ton about T206 cards. And I don't, I know next to nothing about T206. Great set, by the way. Um, but I, I know almost nothing about it. And so, like, T CRT Sports Cards, who's a Instagrammer, YouTuber, Twitterer, uh, I reached out to him, and, and he said all he knows is polar bear for the most part, and I appreciate that honesty. A lot of experts tend to think that their expertise stretches into other things, and they it's kind of a uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not an expert in anything, but I, I feel like it's just part of being an expert. Is, you know, I'm an expert in this, and this is adjacent to it, so I don't know. Um, but I ended up getting connected. Actually, Don from the show and me here on YouTube and from Twitter connected me to Joe Corso from REA, Robert Edward Auctions. And Joe was very quick to respond to my, my messages. And he was pretty excited about it. He said to me, this is a really cool discovery. And I got some quotes from him. I got an estimate of value on the card from him. I sent him the scans. And uh, I'm working on a quote from... Andy Broom, the head grader at CGC. Uh, Andy is in the uh, Hurricane Milton down in Florida. And so he responded to me really quickly saying, cell service is in and out. I'll get back to you soon. And then this morning, this was yesterday afternoon, this morning he responded back to me again and said, this is interesting. Let me get back to you. And I still haven't heard back because he has no power. So I will update with Andy Broom's comment in my newsletter again. And uh, there are some questions about why he didn't, Mike didn't grade with SGC or PSA, which I got answered from Mike, and I put at the bottom of the newsletter earlier today in italics as an edit. But I want you to go read that. It's super interesting, in my opinion, especially if you like the history of the hobby and how new cards get discovered. Um, I also did an attic find from Bo Thompson, also known as One Million Cubs Project. Uh, Bo discovered a Mike Trout 2009 Bowman Chrome autograph numbered to 150 in a Goodwill palette. And so I, 
he broke the story on Twitter, and then I wrote it up for SI.com. It went crazy. I mean, I had subscribers emailing me and messaging me saying, your, your article is number one on Google Reads, which is amazing to me. It's mind-blowing. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. I really enjoy this stuff. I, I like the writing better than I, I like YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> it's, I've always been a writer. I've always enjoyed writing my entire life. I've wanted to be a writer, and I've dabbled in it. I've done a lot of kind of writing things, projects, personal things. But to do it now with a purpose is such a blast. And I hope you'll subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, today, if you remember, a couple months ago, I talked about the Wilt Chamberlain 1961 Fleer that got a SGC-10. The owner of it just crossed it to PSA. It's now a PSA 10. And we've seen one of the other PSA 10s. It's not great. I'll put that up here too. Because it was graded 20 plus years, maybe 25 years ago by PSA. This one is so much nicer. It is amazing. And I, I, I don't dare estimate how much it's worth, to be honest with you. Millions. Many millions. Several million at least. So, I now owe three, well, two, I guess. I owe last week's and this week's Ace 100, attainable collection of 100 cards, attainable collection of Envy 100 videos. I'll just crank th maybe one out tomorrow and then two out next week. Ugh, I'm getting behind. May I might just do a fiver where I go through five cards all in one to catch up. How does that sound? Let me know in comments. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I am finish, uh, finishing up my house staining. I'm in a walking boot on my left foot because I busted my ankle pretty badly. But I'm going to get up on the ladder and finish it because time is running low. All right. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow and Sunday.